The Testlong MS450 inspection camera is great for mechanical inspection, car repair, plumbing fixes, electrical installs, house DIY, wall upgrades, HVAC maintenance, and more. This is a standalone device. Connecting to Wi-Fi or downloading an app is not required. After opening the case, you will see the monitor, the camera probe, a charging cable, and a few accessories. The USB A to C cable is for downloading content and charging the monitor. There should also be a monitor stand and the hook, mirror, and magnet accessories. We will start by going over the monitor. On the front, you will find the buttons for power, settings, OK, mode, lights, photo video, and up and down. On the back, you will find the pro block, the speaker, the stand mount, and the reset button. On the bottom, you will find a rubber door, and behind that, the USB charge port, the micro SD card slot, and the microphone. Now we'll install the inspection camera. On top of the monitor, you will find the probe port. We will take the probe and plug it in. When you hear the click, you will know it's locked. Note, if you want to remove the probe, you have to press the silver button on the back of the monitor when you pull the probe out to release it. Also, the charging port is on the bottom of the monitor under the rubber door. Make sure you don't confuse the probe port with the charge port. The device should start with a long press of the power button followed by the screen logo. You will see some icons on the screen, including the SD card indicator and battery level in the upper right corner, the date and timestamp in the lower right corner, and the photo or video mode indicator in the upper left corner. If the battery indicator is low, you should charge the device before using it. Next, check the light button to make sure you can toggle through three brightness levels as well as turn the light off to adjust your illumination. If your inspection camera came with a dual or triple lens probe, you can change which lens you are looking through by cycling the button right above the probe port. To capture a photo with the device, toggle the mode button so the photo icon is displayed on the screen. Now you can take a picture with the camera by pressing the photo video button. To capture video with the device, toggle the mode button so the video icon is displayed on the screen. Now, when you press the photo video button, the camera will begin recording video, indicated by the time code shown in red. Now that we have some photos and video captured, you can view these files on your monitor in playback mode. Press the mode button until the image icon is shown in the upper left corner of the screen with the file name. You can step through all of the content recorded on your memory card using the up and down buttons. If you want to retrieve a lost or dropped item with your inspection camera, you can install the accessories. If the item is magnetic, try the magnet. If the item has a loop, then maybe the hook accessory will work better. Remove the lock ring from the tip of the camera to expose the accessory thread. The accessories thread on to the end of the camera probe, so you can see them in the main camera view. There are two ways to move the files to your computer. The first method is to plug your monitor into your computer with the included USB-A to C cable, and find the drive in your finder window. Note the monitor needs to be turned on to see the files on the computer. If you don't turn it on, all you will do is charge the monitor's batteries. Navigate to the DCIM folder and you will see photos and video from the device stored there and can drag and drop them onto your computer. Another option for removing the files is to remove the micro SD card, insert it into a card reader, and pull the files out of the DCIM folder. Click the settings button to see the changes that can be made to the resolution, date stamp, and audio. Click settings again to go to the second menu page with adjustments for the auto power off, language, date and time, format, default settings reset, and version information. Having a dirty lens is the most common reason that users will experience a blurry image on their screen. Clean the lens before and after each use with a soft microfiber cloth and a cotton swab to get the best image quality. 
For stubborn stains, you can use warm water or rubbing alcohol, but don't use stronger solvents. The screen and monitor can also be wiped down to clean away dust and fingerprints with a microfiber cloth and a few drops of warm water or rubbing alcohol. That covers everything you need to know to use a Testlong MS450 inspection camera. If you still have more questions or are experiencing any issues with your product, please contact us via email, online chat on our website, or call us at the number shown on the screen. And thank you for purchasing your product from Testlong.